Now, Virgo, you have really, really high expectations of other people and also yourself. And uh, whenever you see a flaw in something, your eyes are like trained to see flaws. Yes, you do see the goodness in a person. You also see the goodness in yourself. But instinctively, you see the flaws. And the flaws are the, the things that are a little bit more glaring. And oftentimes, dwelling on the flaws um, kind of diminishes all the good things that are within you and also within the other person. Okay, so I feel like there is a nitpicky, um, critical energy that you're bringing to the table. And a lot of the times, you know, when we criticize somebody, it's also because we recognize those same deficits in ourselves. And that's why it's so hard for us to deal with. And we tend to externalize and we tend to, you know, blame the other person. And we tend to say that, you know, you're like this and that's why it's not working. And that's what I feel might have happened for you guys in the past. And it's a continuation of this energy coming into this week. So let's dissect that information and try to figure out how we can work with that okay you guys have a lot of insights and um i i feel like you know if you're watching this it's because you are somewhat aware of it you might be in denial about it but you're somewhat aware of these tendencies within yourself and you're trying to find a more harmonious way to deal with it so that it doesn't isolate you from the people that you love and so that you can also approach the people you love with a stronger sense of sympathy and compassion and when we are sympathetic and compassionate towards other people that is a true reflection that we are truly sympathetic and passionate towards ourselves okay a lot of people think that you know virgos they're on their, this high horse and they always criticize others and they think they're perfect no that's not actually not the truth i feel like you don't handle your energy well and you tend to externalize and you see the faults in other people but you know you're so far from perfect and because of it it's really difficult for you to accept these things about yourself or these things in other people. Okay, so let's go into your reading. This is somebody who's very, very upset, very angry. They might have blamed somebody for something that went wrong. And as the first card out of the spread, I feel like this is a an energy that might have happened, you know, Mercury retrograde is notorious for, you know, playing on your tempers, right? So it could have been, you know, prior to that, what was it, um, the the August 23rd energy, um, the Mercury retrograde cycle where you, things just kind of combust and there were a lot of things that you had to do damage control on. There were a lot of people coming to you with their problems and then you were dealing with your own problems and you didn't know how to handle it. So I feel like many of you got a little bit confrontational or explosive towards somebody that you love. The person that's coming towards you, we have an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, or the person you were dealing with, as well as a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Because they're knights of these suits, I'm inclined to say that they embody the energy. They're very intelligent, very articulate, they're also um, very athletic, very sporty, very outdoorsy, um, but not very practical, right? They, um, they might have attention problems. They might be here today, gone tomorrow. They might be quite forgetful because they're so like, you know, fun, fun, fun and um, carefree and, you know, unencumbered and just like live 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 like live life like there's no tomorrow so they don't they, they lack that long-term planning that you guys are very good at okay they lack that practicality they lack that groundedness they're kind of flaky kind of flighty very forgetful and their whole life is about rushing it's about you know uh getting from a to b without really thinking about the process, thinking about what they're doing along the way. Their energy is so swift and so fast that they can bring a lot of problems to the people around them without even knowing. So they're like 
um, um, I, I want to say ignorantly um, inconveniencing other people without even knowing. So whatever they're doing, they're on the upright, both in the upright position. So they're not bad people. It's just their energy is so kinetic that it's difficult for you to handle this energy. You know they're like this. So it's not really their fault, right? So their energy is so kinetic that it's difficult for you to work with this energy. It's difficult for you to be around this energy. And it's difficult for you to understand this energy. So when you're with them, you might be very irritable because they're careless. Or they just, you know, rush, rush, rush. And they don't really think about what they're trying to achieve. And they don't really slow down to take a breather. And they don't really slow down enough to, you know, assess where they are going. Um, what they're bringing to the table for you, I'm seeing somebody saying, I want to give you everything, but this is all that I have to give right now. I want to give you the home, you know, the family, the dogs, the, the cats, whatever pets you want, the, the big yard and the, the swing, you know, the, the tree with the little swings. I want to give you all that you're looking for. But this is all that I'm capable of giving you right now. So I'm hearing somebody say that, like, I'm bringing my all to you, but my all is all that I have right now, which is not very impressive. But one day I'll make it big and then one day I can give you everything that you're looking for. This is like a marriage proposal, the wedding ring, you know, a new start, a new life together, and even a new, um, it's almost like walking to the altar and, um, walking through and starting a new life together so somebody's making you an offer it's not very impressive but this is all that they have to offer and i feel like going into it you know you you know like you, you know their deficits right because you don't approach relationships lightly you know that the other person has flaws and faults and all of that but you still stayed with the person or you still got into a relationship with that person because your love is very unwavering. It's very dependable, but also it's very pragmatic. So you might have gone against your judgment and gotten involved with this person. And now the, the, the truth is coming to light where the other person is careless and, you know, um, they have good qualities. They're, they're champions of justice. They're very truthful, very honest. Um, great chemistry, there's no doubt about that, but the, the truth is glaring. It's like, are we able to build anything solid? Am I able to work with this person to build a future with this person? Because they're like this and I'm constantly following them. I'm constantly swept along for the ride. I feel like you, you feel like you're lacking control in this relationship is moving too fast. They're moving too fast. Their energy is so kinetic that it's, it destabilizes you. But keep in mind, you knew this ahead of time. And so do we, you know, become critical of the other person and point out their flaws and say like, because you're like this, so and so that's why things are like this. Is that fair? Okay, so I, I feel like there is a little bit of guilt from your end about how you handle this situation. And I feel like the other person is still understanding, is still, the other person is still, you know, wanting to give their all. And so coming into this week, I definitely feel like reconciliation, okay? But Virgos, you guys don't say you're sorry. Because everything that you voice and everything that you were angry about, there were legitimate reasons why you were angry, why you're upset. So it's not like, you know, you said something that was, um, you fabricated a lie and now you have to say you're sorry. You, you don't do that. So you're not saying sorry. And I definitely feel an end to conflict coming in, trying to accommodate another person, trying to let them, give them some breathing room so that they can do their thing. Yes, you miss them, but you, you, you feel like they have to, you know, go through their own thing and do whatever they need to do to get it out of their system. 
and you're going to wait for them to come back. Okay, so there's definitely a um, maturation process happening here in your relationships. And I feel like for those in those types of stable relationships, it's it's almost like um, dealing with a partner who's having a midlife crisis and they feel like they need to go out and get a car, you know, the sports car. And you're like, no, that's a bad investment. And they do it anyways. And then now they're tired of the car. You know, so it's like, yes, you gave them good advice, but it's something that they have to do on on their own so that they can come to the same conclusion. Um, for singles, I feel like there is a sense of waiting here for uh, a, a commitment. And I feel like we have here a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries or Leo. Um, this fire sign could very well be waiting for you. There is communication, travel even to see a relationship partner. And then I see like an air sign from the past, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, that you might have, you know, given a lot to, and this person is uh, drifting away, okay? In other areas of your life, um, <clears throat> this is um, really strong support coming through from higher ups, okay? So the emperor usually deals with like a leader, a leader of an organization, um, whoever's in charge of a specific work environment, a supervisor, manager, um, director, whoever you're reporting to. The emperor basically means that you've got somebody who's um, keeping you in mind if new positions open up, who is um, trustworthy and who trusts you and who is very, very supportive of your professional development. So you have somebody in your work environment, I feel, that is really sharp, very righteous, and they, they've got you in mind for bigger, better things. They understand that the work environment is a little bit toxic. The devil deals with like um, codependency, and oftentimes it's like people who are very, very lazy, but they're very smart. So then they kind of uh, shrug responsibilities, like um, they, they, they pass the buck onto the next person and they do it in a very stealthy manner. So you've got some people here that are very, very smart at what they do. They're crafty, but they're not good people. So I feel like the energy can be a little bit toxic here in your work environment. People who are not doing their jobs, who claim they're doing their jobs and things like that. And it's almost like you have you recognition from higher ups, knowing that you're very capable with the high priestess. I always associate this card with like Virgo people because you're the one that everybody comes to when they have problems. So you know everybody else's problems, but you keep it to yourself. You're, you're not because you're strategic, but mainly because you are a good confidant so I feel like you know everything that's going on. The higher ups is also aware of everything that's going on. I feel an element here about you wanting to like leave this work environment mainly because you feel like it's not satisfying, but you're keeping everything under wraps. And I feel like your higher up might be aware that this environment is toxic. The Virgo person might leave. So how do I change the work dynamic so that they don't leave? How do I give them more power so that they can change the culture in this work environment as well? So they see a lot of potential in you. They want you to stay, but I feel like emotionally you're pretty much set on leaving and you might have been since the August time frame. And now they're trying to buy back your favor or they're trying to find some ways to rearrange things so that, you know, things are a little bit more manageable for you or they're trying to create new positions even to get you to stay okay and if you were to stay i feel like they would give you a lot more power so that you can transform this situation to your liking and you guys are really good workers no one would want you to leave so it's just you know a matter of is is that going to be enough is that a fair trade-off give you more power so that you can change things from the ground up? Or are you still at this point where you feel disheartened and you just want to leave? So I feel like, you know, this is a continuation. This is something that's still unfolding and you're getting snippets of it right now, but it's still in the process of, you know, 
unfolding all right so i hope that is helpful for you guys virgo and i hope that you know the reading is timely appropriate and you know resonates with you i wish you all the best okay take care take it easy for this week take it easy uh take it easy on the people that you love as well okay i'll talk to you soon bye bye